This video shows you how to use do files in Stata. By the end of this video, you should know what a do file is and how to use do files. Do files are scripts that allow you to record and replay series of Stata commands. Do files are useful for automating repetitive or drawn out tasks, long series of code that you find you always have to be entering. You can enter them once on a do file and then just run the script. It's also useful to record the steps that you take to set up your analysis, for example, cleaning your data, uh, labeling variables, or the steps that you take to get your results. It's useful because if you find that one small miscoding or bad decision has affected your analysis, you don't have to start right back up at the drawing board and, and type in all of your code fresh. You can just go into the do file, change whatever was wrong, save it, and run it again. What do do files do? Do files are text files that contain series of Stata commands. When you use the do file editor, you type in Stata commands that you would otherwise enter into the command window. Each line that you enter into a do file represents a command that you would have run and finished by hitting enter. When you run a do file, Stata executes each line of your do file line by line. You can save do files on your computer and you can ask Stata to run a do file from the command window. You can also ask Stata to run do files within other do files. The syntax for executing a do file is the word do space and in quotation marks the file name with the suffix dot do. In this example, I'm executing a do file called mydofile.do. .do. To start a do file, you have to open up the do file editor. This is a window that allows you to type in your do file codes. You can access the do file editor by clicking this button on Stata's toolbar. It looks like a notebook with a pencil. Toolbar, you'll see this is the do file editor. You click it and a window appears in which you can write a do file. This picture gives you four important buttons that you need to know about when you're running a do file editor. The Create New Do File, Open Save Do File, and Save Do File buttons should be familiar to most people who use Windows. The other important button is at the other end of the dual Do File Editor's toolbar. It looks like a piece of paper with writing on, on it and a play button, a blue sort of play triangle. When you click that button, you run the Do File, which is to say that Stata will execute the code in your Do File line by line. Let's watch the do file editor in action. In this window, the do file editor, I wrote a script which executes several steps that we've already reviewed in this series. To add additional code, I just put the cursor in the box and enter the code that I want Stata to run. Notice that some lines start with an asterisk and are colored green. That means they're comments. Stata won't run them. There are notes that you can leave to yourself within the do file. When you finally uh, written your file, you can go to File, Save As, and save the do file. You can open it later from within the do file editor by pressing this button. When you want to run your script, you press the Execute button. And as you can see, Stata run ran each step in that script. Now the nice thing about a do file editor is if you make a mistake, so for example you tell it to leg instead of log and you run the do file editor, you'll get an error line. But the beauty is, is that you don't have to type all of your uh, commands in from scratch. You can just go to the errant line, correct the script, save it, and then run it again. Let's review. To start the do file editor, click this button on Stata's toolbar. You type your commands into the Stata do file editor line by line as if you were running each 
distinct line as the command in Stata. You can save the do file, and when you're ready to run it, you press the Execute button, the rightmost button on the toolbar. For more information on this series, please visit my website, josephncohen.org.